Content in this video is for viewers 18 and older. Grow for 20 guide in this video for information purposes only and intended for medical marijuana patients who live in a city, state, or country where cultivating cannabis is illegal. All information and content in this video is in compliance with the Compassionate Use Act of 1996 and California's Proposition 215. Welcome back to another episode of the Lone Seed Project, day number 47. How all y'all OGs doing out there? What up? And for today's episode, it's actually going to be pretty, pretty quick, you guys. We're just kind of going to be taking a detailed look at Callie Jane here. And if I back up here, we can kind of see how she's doing. And she's kind of just a nice little bush. And that's exactly what we wanted at this stage. Um, everything's kind of even with her. So, so all is good. Um, you know, I don't think we're going to have to go through another low stress training, although when these branches down here get a little bigger, we will be low stress training them. Um, but yeah, she's looking super, super good. I mean, I, I couldn't ask for any better results from her. So, yeah. But we're going to take a really close look. Today was actually like a savior day in Southern California. It was really overcast, and it's been overcast all day. No winds, no nothing. It's beautiful. It's like 80 something degrees. So Callie Jane's enjoyed this. I've enjoyed this. That's how you can tell like she's really nice and perky today. She needed a day like this to uh, kind of recover from that overwatering one and um, from the low stress training. Just pull herself upright and kind of lift towards this um, dim lit sun today. But um, yeah, we're going to be taking a close look at her today, you guys. Now, an important thing with growing outdoors is you really want to get to know your plant and every feature that your plant does have on it. Um, now, with Callie Jane, I know every little magnification mark I've made, every pH burn spot that I've created on a little tip or somewhere. So I know every bit of Callie Jane. And, um, and for growing outdoors, it's definitely something that you just want to be aware of because you want to know what's um, what's infiltrating her, if anything is, um, when it's happening, and um, you know what what type of bite mark or whatever it, it is. Um, it is um, even growing outdoors. A random bird flying by can come by and just take a nice old poop on your plant, and you don't want bird poop just chilling on your plant. So. You really want to come out here and spend the time and the attention with them. Even if it's like five minutes a day, you just sit down with them, you're talking to them or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And we're actually going to start down here. And um, now the reason we're doing this is Callie Jane's a nice even bush right now. Oh shit, I only have a minute of space. We're going to bust through this, you guys. I'm going to run out of time. All right, boom, down here, zoom in. Um, what we're doing here is we're actually taking off that first set of leaves that I said we were going to be taking off, you guys. So we're just going to be pinching that off. Now the reason I'm doing that along with those shoots is because I don't need them. Um, even this one above is not needed, but I'm not going to be pulling that today. I'm going to be coming back later on. She'll be pulled with the lollipop and we'll probably actually clone this branch. But that bottom branch is just not needed and I wanted to save that energy that she's putting into that branch to be put elsewhere throughout her. So every other branch from here on out will probably be used as a clone, but I did want to get that off. And um, we'll go through tomorrow and we'll look and take a look at every single spot that she's got on her and get ourselves, you know, um, situated here with Callie Jane. But that is all I got for you guys today. 